in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul. Christ is risen. Truly, he is risen. I would like to share with you now, it's a short reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 11, verses 19 through to 26. Now those who were scattered after the persecution that arose over Stephen travelled as far as Phoenicia, Cyprus and Antioch, preaching the word to no one but the Jews only. But some of them were men from Cyprus and Cyrene, who, when they had come to Antioch, spoke to the Hellenists, preaching the Lord Jesus. And the hand of the Lord was with them, and a great number believed and turned to the Lord. The news of these things came to the ears of the church in Jerusalem, and they sent out Barnabas to go as far as Antioch. When he came and had seen the grace of God, he was glad and encouraged them all that with purpose of heart they could continue with the Lord. For he was a good man, full of the Holy Spirit and of faith, and a great many people were added to the Lord. Then Barnabas departed for Tarsus to seek Saul, and when he had found him, he brought him to Antioch. So it was, for a whole year they assembled with the church and taught a great many people. And the disciples were first called Christians in Antioch. Glory to you, O God. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. 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 Most Holy Theotokos, save us. Amen. Christ is risen.